Hello everyone, it's me Tiger. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be building a butterfly trail here on Emerald Island, my fairy core Animal Crossing Island. Butterfly models are an essential part of fairy core. I feel like you cannot go to a fairy core island without seeing some sort of butterfly model display. So I thought it would be perfect to make a little butterfly road going on my island. But before we actually get to the build, I do have a message from today sponsor thank you so much to disney emoji blitz for sponsoring today's video you can go ahead and download the game for free using the link down below in the description i'm also hosting a giveaway so stay tuned for the end to find out how to win and what you can win disney emoji blitz is unlike any other match three game on the market each emoji has its own unique power up and you control what to use offering a strong layer of strategy to each game that you play my favorite emoji is nemo because i just i love nemo it takes me back to my childhood memories it was always my very favorite disney movie so of course nemo is my favorite emoji from this game nemo sends a ton of nemo emojis and they go across your screen and help you better your score he's just super cute and he also helps um your game so you know you can't go wrong nemo's the best this game is so addicting because you cannot stop trying to collect all of the emojis there are so many different kinds ranging from disney pixar to even star wars they add new characters each week sometimes each month lots of different emojis with different categories like silver gold rainbow exclusive as well as story and villain emojis you can even use the emojis that you earn in game to text your friends it's super cool you can drag the little emoji onto your text and your friends will probably be like how are you doing this this is so cute one last thing, I will be giving away $10 e-gift cards for Nintendo to three different lucky winners. So all you have to do is download Disney Emoji Blitz using my link down below. Get to level 15, take a screenshot, and tag me on Twitter or Instagram. If you did participate in last month's giveaway and you got to level 10, it's going to be so easy. All you have to do now is go up five levels to level 15. And who knows, you already might be there if you're playing this game as much as I am. I also wanted to mention that the link down below acts as a creator code so anything that you spend in game on Disney Emoji Blitz will help support me as a creator so it would mean a lot to me if you guys participated in this giveaway it is so fun and you'll have a chance to win a Nintendo gift card which you can use to buy a new game thank you again so so much to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video as you guys know Tia lives on my island she has her very own pink Sanrio cafe and she also has a lavender farm back behind her house oh there's a balloon let's get that um we could use that let's see what's inside of this a cherry blossom clock amazing i don't have that diy yet let's learn that but anyways tia lives here on the island she has her cafe and then it leads off into this little like walkway on this cliff and i want to turn this little walkway into the butterfly trail i just feel like it would be the perfect spot i did download a pathway just for this build it is the stone pavement pathway i will put the design code up on the screen so if you guys want to use this on your island you can too i will also put the creator's handle on the screen so you guys can go support them and follow them and maybe they have some more design codes that they'll post in the future and you'll get to see those so i guess the first thing we should do is get into the island designer app and start placing down the stone pathway so we can kind of get an idea of what this trail will look like i want the trail to start right after the cafe so i'm just gonna put down this little spot right here and this is where the road will begin and then we can just continue to place all these pathways down i don't want it to be a wide pathway just a one slot pathway going all the way down here so i'm just gonna do that the pathway is now finished i tried to make it as curvy as possible so it's kind of like a little hiking trail through the forest and then it leads over here and this spot i'm gonna build something really cool that i have an idea for but i'm not gonna tell you guys what that is yet i'm gonna keep that a secret until i get around 
to doing it. But here we have the little layout of the butterfly road. So now we just need to start adding some decorations. I do have some flowers that I wanted to plant around the area to spruce it up a little bit, have some color. I also have some extra trees because there's just too many cedar trees over here. So I need to replace some of these with some orange trees and cherry blossom trees because it looks a little bit like a dark forest. Maybe I should add an extra tree right here. I feel like that would look really nice. Let's do the cherry blossom tree <gasps> that's so pretty okay and then maybe a tree right here let's see i do have an orange tree that we could put down beautiful amazing let's grab ourselves a mushroom and place him down right here i feel like that is so freaking adorable i love placing mushrooms over here i have an idea i don't know if it's going to look good but i'm gonna place down some of these blue flowers and then i'm going to use this wooden stool and then i wanted to place a butterfly model on top of it the only problem is you can't really see it i could move it forward a little bit hmm I don't know you guys it looks kind of awkward maybe I should try like a different butterfly model I really like the stool but you can't see the butterfly model from underneath the tree I could just leave the stool here like you could come sit on the stool and read in the forest or something I don't know but let's place the butterflies down because it is a butterfly trail after all so we're gonna need some butterflies to go here let's do the emperor butterfly model right here Oh, that is so cute. Let's replace the little stool with a common butterfly model. I destroyed the pathway. Why? I hate doing this. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello, Bandit. Hello. Did you guys hear Bandit? He is mad because I'm recording this video and not paying attention to him. I'm going to switch these two butterfly models. I just need to put the Emperor butterfly model here. Oh, yes, that is so pretty. I think the mushroom platform will look really good because we have a lot of short items here. And, you know, the tall items make it look a lot better. How about a butterfly model on top of the cliff to kind of overlook the area? I think that this would be a really good idea if I can just find a butterfly model. Okay, let's push it over here and then we can crawl down and see what this looks like because it might look cool to have butterflies on different levels. <gasps> yes. Yes, that is so cute. We just need to add like some flowers and some shrubs and stuff up there. I'm going to go ahead and run over to the other side of my island so that we can also customize some of the items that we have and then we'll grab some shrubs and flowers too. Ooh. Maybe I should grab some star fragments too that we can drop around on the ground. Let's customize some of the items that I have. I can't really use a lot of them since they don't match the area. So we need to fix that. I have some hyacinth lamps that would look cute. We can make them blue. So maybe they'll match the emperor butterfly models. And then we can customize some of these mushroom lamps as well. Okay, let's see what needs to happen here. Maybe we should plant a shrub right here so it kind of forces you to go around the little shape that we have going on and then we need some shrubs over here too like we could place one on the edge here and we could also place one in front of this tree and um maybe one back here I don't know, maybe just throw them everywhere. Since this area is visible from the butterfly trail, I wanna make sure that at least the side of the cliff is a little bit decorated. That way it's not just completely empty and kind of takes away from the view of the butterfly trail. So I'm just gonna place some mushrooms and some random weeds and flowers and things over here. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Maybe, I hope so. I wonder if the cypress plant would look good like squeezed back here. So you can't see like the dark colored pot because it doesn't really match as well. It's our last mushroom. No, I'm so sad. I need to get some more. I grabbed a My Melody like rocking chair. I don't know if this is going to look good, but I thought maybe you could come out here and sit on the rocking chair and it's pink. I mean, we have a bunch of pink stuff over here. <gasps> oh, does that look bad? Does that look bad? I don't know. Maybe I should turn it to the side. I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe I should move it over. 
I don't know. It's like really large. So I'm not sure if this is a good spot for it. I did grab another sign for the cafe. So maybe it could go over here. But I don't know. It's kind of repetitive with all of the cinema roll furniture. I'm struggling, guys. I'm really, I'm really struggling. Right here on the cliff side, I want to place a log bench. So I'm just going to put some custom designs on the ground to go underneath it. And then we can place it right here. That's cute, right? I hope so. I think it looks pretty good. We could even put like a shrub behind it. That way it, it'll grow in. It'll kind of look a little bit overgrown. Some flowers would look nice. Maybe even some stars. And then we can place a shrub. We can never have enough shrubs, people. I promise. Oh, I have the mush lamps. Let's place some of those around. I have two, I think. That mush lamp looks amazing right there. And then we can have a mush lamp right here too to kind of connect these two areas together okay what to do over here this is like a really awkward spot over here i don't really know what to place oh you know what you know what we do have that little stool we could place a stool over here and then we could have just wait a second we could have a coffee cup on top of it to kind of match with the little cafe over here. So it kind of goes over in this direction. I think that's cute. I think that looks good. I think this looks pretty decent. I'm actually really happy with how this is turning out. I think it's going to be cute because it leads up into Tia's little area over here. Um, I don't know how I feel with these pathways clashing. I'm still like iffy about this pink one. I don't know if it's too bright for the foresty area. But I still think it looks really good. And then it goes down into the butterfly road. All that's left to do is to time travel so that we can have all of these shrubs grow in. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll be right back and we can take a final look at the butterfly trail. All right, guys, we're back on the island. I'm going to head over to the area so we can take the final look. Can I get a drum roll, please? We're about to see the beautiful completed gorgeous butterfly trail of emerald island it is so cute with all of the shrubs oh my gosh it is so foresty i love the way that this looks right now oh my gosh let's take a photo from like this point of view i mean look how cute this is it definitely gives me fairy core vibes i love the way that this turned out and i hope that you guys did too don't forget to enter my giveaway all you have to do is download disney emoji blitz using my creator link oh my gosh you guys there's a butterfly flying around butterfly trail how cute is that i am so happy right now don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe also turn on the post notifications before you guys leave thank you so much for tuning in i love you i appreciate you have a great day or night i will see you guys in my next video bye